Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 25 Hidden Fates Pokemon Booster Packs. Now this opening will be solely on the Pokemon TCG Online. Hidden Fates is the newest set in the TCG. It is a special expansion released August 23rd, 2019. I do have to resort to these online openings. Unfortunately, Hidden Fates is practically sold out everywhere in retail stores, so I have not been able to open many products for this set. I did pre-order six Elite Trainer boxes, hoping to get those in the mail. Official release date for those boxes would be September 20th, which would be this Friday. So here is a look at my online TCG account. As you can see, I have exactly 25 Hidden Fates packs to open up. And I did believe that I traded for all of these packs. Hidden Fates are a hot commodity online as well. So let's get this opening kicked off. Hoping to pull the Shiny Charizard GX. Of course, the Shiny Vault subset within Hidden Fates. 94 total cards in that expansion. Potentially could pull a Shiny in the very first pack. And I do pull a Giovanni's Exile. This is from the Hidden Fates, the base of the set, card number 67 of 68. And the final card would be a Shiny Ralts. As you can see on this card, bottom left hand corner, SV stands for Shiny Vault. This is an alternate art reprint, originally from the Burning Shadows set. So a good start to the opening. Second pack here, the rare. Would be a Wigglytuff GX. Lots of first generation Pokemon in Hidden Fates. I know I, in real life I pulled out a Starmie GX. Two good cards in this pack as well. There would be a Mew. And then another shiny Pokemon. It would be a Mount Coronet. And this is a stadium card that was in high demand. A lot of players are hoping for this card to come out earlier. A very cool looking secret rare trainer essentially. This is another card from the Shiny Vault subset. Cool looking rare hollow for the water energy. Just a hollow, not a rare hollow. And then the final card would be a Mr. Mime. Those hollow foil energy cards are somewhat valuable. Rare in this one. There we go. A GX rainbow rare of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. The one secret rare and then in the Hidden Fate set. 69 of 68 would be the card number. Rare in this pack would be Mr. Mine. Because this is a special expansion. You cannot purchase booster boxes or individual packs in retail stores of Hidden Fates. Kangaskhan, the rare in this one. Online, you potentially can buy the packs individually. Butterfree as the reverse holloway rare. And the final card would be a Zapdos. And this is a rare holo. Lots of good supporter cards in Hidden Fates, reprinted from previous sets. There's a Fairy Energy, a Hall of Oil, and the rare would be a Jesse and James. Now this is a very good card overall. You can use it with something like Recycle Energy. Each player discards two cards from their hand. Your opponent discards first. Not only do I like this card because it includes characters from the Pokemon anime, but it is very competitive. So that was easily the best pull. A couple of good pulls so far that... Mount Coronet, which can be used with something like Duskmane Necrozma. So there is another Jesse and James. I'll hit the rare hollow first there. And then the reverse hollow would be of Snorlax. Today is Sunday, the day that I'm recording this video. I went out and caught a shiny Turtwig on Pokemon Go. Erica's Hospitality as the Reverse Solo Rare, and the final card would be a Mew. 
This is a very enjoyable set to open up. Just like in the actual games, a lot of people like to go out and hunt for shiny Pokemon. Another Jesse and James. About halfway through this 25 booster pack opening now. I hope to do several larger Hidden Fates booster pack openings on my channel in the future. Onyx GX here, so another first generation GX. Doing very well with the pulls. There's a Zapdos, the card that I pulled earlier in rare holo form. Rare here would be a Bills Analysis, a very good supporter card. Two potentially rares in this one. How about a shiny? So there's a Brox training, a rare reverse solo. And then the final card would be the legendary trio. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. Just the regular version this time. Pretty cool having three Pokemon on a tag team GX. Koga's Trap as the reverse solo. And then Lapras as the rare. Eight packs left to go after this one. Rare here would be a Raichu GX. There is a Raichu GX available with one of the three Hidden Fates tins. Gyarados and then Charizard, the other two GX available. I have opened up all three of those tins on my channel. I actually pre-ordered two of each of those and did not receive any of those yet. A Rare Hollow, Again, just a Hollow of a Water Energy. And the final card would be Lapras. How about a shiny Pokemon here? Looks like it will happen. At least a shiny vault subset card. It would be, there we go, a beautiful looking Lucario GX, a shiny one. Pretty good attacker right here. I did use it early on when that card was released as a Black Star promo. A friend of mine actually bought that Lucario GX online. How about another shiny? Looks like that will be the case. It is an Aether Foundation employee, and I have pulled this full art in real life. Originally, it is from the Lost Thunder expansion. It is always cool seeing the cars in alternate form. A few packs left to go. Another shiny here looks to be the case. It would be a shiny Saviper. I definitely prefer the shiny Pokemon that are much different in appearance than their normal sprite. So there's a Grass Hollow, Grass Energy, and the final card would be a Jolteon. I know there is an Eevee available as a Hollow in this set. Final card in this pack would be a Charizard. And I know this is the one from the tin as well because of Flare Blitz, it can do 300 damage. So some decks are including it in Mewtwo and Mew decks just because it can copy this card's attack and skip over Charmander and Charmeleon. Second to last pack now. How about a shiny in here as well? Nope, looks to be a regular card. So Butterfree, a rare reverse solo. Final card in the second to last pack would be a Bill's Analysis. Final pack of the 25. How about a shiny to end it? Looks to be a rare hollow of a Porion. Final card would be an Erica's Hospitality. I would certainly like to get more hidden fates. We'll have to trade for some, or maybe one of my viewers can send me some of their codes. So that will conclude this opening. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.